This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do backgrounds um, in Blender, or at least how I do backgrounds for a lot of my renders. Uh, and other things too, if I ever want to see it, how it would look on a set, um, I just go ahead and, and make one of these. So we're going to jump right into it. Um, this is dedicated to Samurai Lion. I really appreciate all the work that you're doing. Um, I see that you're putting a lot of time into learning the ins and outs of Blender. So this is a tutorial that I thought I'd share with you. So, okay. First thing we want to do is add a plane. Cause you've got your character here and you got it all lit up, but there's no background quite yet. So we add this plane here and I like to hit S on the keyboard to scale. You bring it up like that. Okay, then we can go into edit mode Select this back line here. Make sure you're in the line selecting area. Okay. Now hit E on the keyboard. And how I used to do it is I would do this and then, you know, hope that I get a nice curve. But the way we're going to do it today and how I do it now is I'm going to hit E, hit Z, then I'll bring it straight up. Now you want to select that line again and control B. And what that does is it adds a bevel. Okay, now when you've got it like this, you can scroll with the scroll wheel and the amount of scrolls you do determines how many segments you have. And if you move the mouse back and forth, it'll change the area. So you do that and you've got yourself a pretty quick background. Usually you want to check how it looks with your camera. If it looks fine, then go ahead and use it. If you're not happy with it, you can just scale it along the x-axis. Um, yeah. So then we want to do object shade smooth and it gives us a nice curved background. Now if you want to add texture to it, it gets a little more technical. Um, all you got to do is open up your shader editor and I like to add a new material and what we're going to do is give it a like let's see let's give it a, a little noise here so search for noise noise texture and then we'll do a color ramp and now I'm going to move this into here and this into the base color or not base color, roughness. And that'll add a little bit of a texture to there. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and add a mapping node. There's a mapping node. Okay, that just evens out everything. So now we've got an even size. Alright, now you can scale it up and scale it down, and I think depending on what object you put it on, it'll be about the same size. So I'm going to increase the scale. I'm going to do this, just to move it around a little bit. And we don't want it to be completely polished. So I'm going to move that up like this, move this down like that. Okay, now I'm going to copy this and duplicate that. And I'm going to increase the scale on this one a little bit. I'm going to add mix RGB and we'll mix these two together. Also going to change the base color over here, make that a little darker. Okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot to plug this into here. There we go.
Okay, then I'm going to make a bump map. I'll go into height, normal, and I'll plug that into the normal. Now it looks really rough. It's okay, we can change the strength of it. So it's less rough. Alright, now you've got a, an interesting surface to look at. So, thank you for watching this tutorial on, on how to make different backgrounds for, for things. Um, yeah. So, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and you can find a use for um, the different kinds of backgrounds that you can come up with. Um, like, like I said, special shout out to Samurai Lion. Good work. Um, keep on learning. I can see you improving all the time. Uh, and it's really exciting to watch. So, anyway, take care.